Hey folks, wanted to show you a new tool that is coming out that we can use to remotely manage our Windows Server and Windows Desktop environments. Um, you're pretty familiar with Server Manager by now, I hope. Uh, Microsoft has certainly been pushing the remote management aspect lately, um, getting away from using servers with GUIs, getting away from remoting in and managing uh, all of our things directly on the consoles or directly in uh, the servers. There's security benefits with not having a GUI. There's uptime benefits with not having a GUI. And that's why they're pushing and pushing and pushing for server core and nano server to come out. Um, but maybe, just maybe, server manager doesn't give us everything that we need. Server manager is great for managing roles and uh, manipulating roles, such as creating shares directly on, on those remote machines. Um, but what about the actual administering of the Windows devices themselves, Windows updates, um, uh, firewall rules, registry keys, um, uh, shares and folders and files there directly, uh, all sorts of stuff that you can do uh, that you need to do directly on the machine. Um, you can certainly do it through PowerShell, but uh, PowerShell is such a mountain to climb. Basically, Microsoft is coming out with this new thing called Honolulu, Project Honolulu, where we can remotely manage all of those aspects, the Windows operating system aspects, uh, directly through a GUI too. Uh, so I wanted to show you that today. But first, let's give you a little crash course in the environment. We have two Hyper-V hosts in a failover cluster using uh, CSV to keep those things uh, highly available. Um, two DCs on each machine, a SQL server on each machine. We have a test uh, that I'm gonna be using primarily today. And Honolulu itself, I've created a VM called Paradise. Now, Honolulu is a web-based uh, um, service that you can use, um, but you can open up any port, open that up on the firewall, and that will certainly get the job done for you. Um, so, you know, without further ado, I say let's just dive in and take a look. So we'll go straight to Paradise. And this is the splash page. Um, this is where we can look at all of our connections. Now I have a little lab here called Stormwind Systems. This is a home lab. Uh, I've t t built it up, torn it down a million times over. Um, and Paradise is default added to it. So if we wanna add different machines to it, we just click add. And we've got pretty quickly the option of a server, a PC, like a desktop, Windows 10, failover cluster, and then hyperconverge cluster, which is ideally uh, storage spaces direct. So scale over our scale out file systems as well as the uh, S2Ds um, can be managed there. Let's go ahead and add that storm test I was talking about earlier. Storm test dot storm wind systems. And that's okay if it says this, um, that's not a big deal. It's just something that, you know, this is a beta. Um, it is definitely able to connect though. So I'm just gonna hit submit. And I'm gonna click on the machine that I wanna do here and hit connect. And it's gonna, so if I had configured Kerberos constrained delegation, I could use this as for the double hop scenario. Um, since I have not, I'm gonna manually pass in the credentials here. And I'm gonna say, use these credentials for all connections. So if I wanna add more machines later, it'll just default to using those. I hit continue. And it takes me straight into the device. Right now, this is loading all of those things you would see in Resmon. Check this out, looking at the CPU, the RAM, Ethernet. Down here, there would be disk usage. This is disk metrics. It is disabled by default because it actually does have performance implications. Uh, so if you want to do it, you can. Um, right off the bat, this storm test, all it's done, all I've done to it is add it to the domain. I've, been, I've configured nothing on it yet. So let's say I wanna add remote desktop. Really quickly, I'll go to settings, remote desktop. And this little dialogue should look pretty familiar to you guys. We'll hit allow here, maybe, maybe it won't, there we go. <laughs> and save, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Wasn't letting me click a little bit there. All right, cool. Uh, we can also, and then we've got the little succeeded and updating that remotely. We've got the certificate store. This should also be pretty familiar here. Should we need to add, look, we've got, it's telling us we've got expired certificates. We can also look at certificate events up here. Devices, this is device manager. 
Um, we can, you know, expand, you know, there's our processors and display adapters, you know, all those things, virtual disks. The event log itself, the event viewer can be managed here remotely. We can take a look at that. Um, let's choose application logs. We can choose to export it um, pretty clearly here. And if I can't get to the filter because my little recorder device, here we go. Sorry, I had to move my little recorder and I can pretty quickly, you know, weed out the guys I'm not interested in, hit apply, and look at how quickly that moves. I feel like that moves quicker than the normal event viewer on the device itself. This is probably the coolest part, files. Um, this takes us directly into what would be like the Windows Explorer on the machine itself. If I want to expand the C drive and look directly at it, um, take me in there and let's you know create a new folder and call this test and hit submit. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Open test. So now I can choose to upload files directly from my machine into it. Um, I can, you know, if I bring up files on, on my file browser, I can copy them in. It's, it's really pretty cool uh, and, and clever. Um, you know, if I need to quickly copy files or upload files in and then run PowerShell against it, uh, there's the PowerShell function down here, which is pretty neat. Yep, so there's my PowerShell command line. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Local users and groups, if I need to administer, uh, add people to local administrators and, and manage that membership, change passwords here directly on the local machines, we can do that. Network. What if we need to change the IP addresses remotely on desktops? Uh, you know, we probably do this a lot on servers and uh, on, let's go here, see? Pretty cool. Of course, processes, this is going back to task manager. Um, nothing too crazy here. You probably have seen this before. You can click on it in processes. Registry edits. We can do that. And since this is a server, we can also go through the add roles and features. Now storage replica, this is down here. If I click on it, it's not going to show me anything because I haven't installed the storage replica feature on this machine. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to bother with clicking that. I'm just going to keep going through this. Um, but here's all the services that are running, you know, uh, or the, excuse me, the roles and features that I can add. Um, again, pretty cool stuff here. All I have to do to add these things is check the box and, uh, you know, says you've got this one selected. So all I have to do is hit install. If I really want to install that, it'll go through that whole process for me. Um, services, you know, uh, again, you've probably getting familiar with what I'm trying to show you here. Like uh, it's just your services that are running. We can take a look at them. You can pause, start, restart services all remotely. Um, going back to the storage. So this is actually gonna be your disk management. Um, if you add volumes or drives or need to partition things or uh, create new formats, um, we can create new VHDs, attach it, detach it all right here. And of course, Windows updates. Um, pretty cool little feature here where we can actually take a look at the Windows updates, tell it to download and schedule the restart uh, all remotely. So I think this is a pretty cool little tool for um, managing small to medium sized environments where you need to quickly get to a GUI uh, and manage all of these devices at once. Um, like I said, you can't really do much with the roles and features, uh, but this is all about administering the actual operating system and the, the Windows functionality. So. Very cool. Get out there and check it out.